Hey, what is going on guys? This is Tharsha and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be having a look at the best build for Vorheim Paladins. So hope you guys do enjoy the video and if you do, please do drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn those post notifications. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So we're going to go and have a look at the build I'm using with Vora and then we're going to go hop into our match and see how we do. So obviously this is Vora the Harbinger. She is a flank champion. So her moves are she has Deadly Scythe which is her normal direct attack which is 5 projectiles to deal damage over time and gain a stack of darkness. Consuming darkness heals Bora over time. Consuming maximum stacks augments other abilities. So her second ability, which is her right click, is her obliteration, which is jump up and slash down, becoming immune. On impact, you deal 500 damage and apply knockback. Consuming maximum darkness deals increased damage and slows. So basically what this does is you, uh, you, know, you attack with deadly sight. As you attack, you, get, you gain darkness stacks. And then when you pop other abilities and stuff, those darkness stacks get consumed to augment them and make them a bit better. So in the case of obliteration, that's more damage. In the case of deadly sight, that's healing. Uh, Dark Siphon deals 200 damage on hit. So the damage is literally not much. And an additional 400 damage over time, which can help, you know, whittle down an enemy. Even if you're like behind cover, you hit them and you get back behind cover. Uh, hitting an enemy heals for 300 over 2 seconds. And that is the much better part because... You, you know, this can heal you for quite a decent amount of HP. Consuming maximum darkness stack, uh, darkness stacks cripples on hit for one and a half seconds. So if you have maximum darkness when you fire off Dark Siphon, it will also cripple your opponent. Tendril is literally just a movement uh, ability. It allows you to pull yourself towards your target with a tendril, can hit players to pull you to them. And her uh, ultimate, you basically just you focus on one person and attack them. So hunt your enemies, increasing movement speed and reducing the damage you take. Select a nearby target to lock down, damaging or executing them if they are on low health. And her talents are annuling pressure, relentless presence and deafening silence. So rel relentless presence is if you want more movement. Tendril gains a second charge but his cooldown is increased by 2 seconds. Deafening silence, obliteration now silences enemies hit for 1.65 seconds. I don't use either of these. I use Unyielding Pressure, which is your Dark Siphon now deals an additional 10% of the target's maximum health as damage over one and a half seconds. So this just allows your Dark Siphon to just do a little bit more damage. So it's it's decent, honestly. If you do want to, though, I, I wouldn't really recommend Deafening Silence, but you can also play Relentless Presence if you want more movement. So that is something you can also do. Now, in terms of the card load that I use, that this will be the build, the damage heal build. So I have Broken Path on 5, which is increases the healing received from Dark Siphon by 250 health. So remember Dark Siphon heals you for 300. Now mine is going to be healing me for 550 HP. So that's some pretty decent healing. And next I have Sharpened Resolve on 5. Consuming Darkness stacks heals you for an additional 50 per stack. So every time I consume a Darkness stack, now I'm going to be healing for an, uh, an extra 50. So this allows me to, you know, stay in the fight longer and heal up a lot more. Now, next we have New Purpose, which increased your maximum health by 150. So this just, you know, makes me slightly more tankier. However, you can take these three, you know, the extra two points I put into this and you can move it over to something like Deadly Dance so that you generate 3% uh, ultimate charge for each enemy hit by obliteration. So, you know, that just helps you charge up your ultimate a bit faster. Or you can put it into Crimson Ascent, which is reducing the cooldown of Dark Siphon by one second if it fails to hit a target. So if you miss... Uh, you know, the enemy with your Dark Siphon, it will reduce the cooldown by one second. If you have this on three, it will reduce it by three seconds. So, yeah, that is the build I'm using. Broken Path, Sharpen Resolve, New Purpose, Deadly Dance, and Crimson Ascent. Broken Path and Sharpen Resolve on five, and New Purpose on three. Anyway, let's hop into our match now and see how we do. Okay, guys, we've gone into a match, and yeah, let's go Unyielding Pressure. We go Damage Heals, Equip. And for items, so this is a Siege match, so I'm going to start off with Life Rip because... My build is, you know, focused all around pretty much keeping yourself alive. Because as so long as you're dealing damage, you know, you're hitting people, you can keep on healing yourself up, you know, stay in the fight and just continue dealing more and more damage. So we're going to go for life rip and we can also go for kill to heal later on. Or we could go for Kronos as well to speed up the, uh, the obliteration as well as the dark siphon abilities. But for now, we just go life rip Five, and then four, probably three, some kill to heal. Two, yeah, you're not going to go for kill to heal. Okay, so I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna try flank around, see what we can get done. Ah uh, yeah, no one else is coming here. Cool. So means we can go here and get some damage going on that Strix. Ooh, that's the IO. 
Moji. There we go. That Moji is down. The only reason we're able to fight that even though he got the jump on us was because we had the healing going. Oh, the Agara. Ooh, have to be careful. That's tricks though. Yeah, there we go. But heal by the Zerus there though. Okay, we, let's go down and see if we can get that Shrix. Or at least heal some damage to the Furia. There we go. Oof, careful. There we go. Got the Moji. Hit the Moji again. Oof. No, he's got Max Darkness Dax. Okay, I'm good. Woo! Because he had a uh, Max Magic Mark, sorry, on me over there. Because I hit him while his uh, shield goes up. Come on, get the Puria. There we go, Puria's down. There's the Agarath again. Okay. Go down here. Yeah. Ah, Strix is yeah, perfect. I haven't actually used any of my movement, even though I could have pretty easily. I'm not giving up! Can we come on? Nah, let's go around. Actually, let's pop my ult. Pop it on the Moji. There we go. Woo! Okay, the healing kept us going there. Uh, okay. That's fetched, I guess. Get some damage off on the Strix. Come this ruin Yagarat's day. Okay, we can get some more darkness hacks pretty easily. Hit. Ooh, okay. Took us down there, that's fine. Go for more life rips. Uh, some more Chrono, so let's go for Haven. There we go. We've got stage 2 life rip, we have stage 1 kill deal, and we got some Haven going as well. Okay, Yagra is just rolling around. Jump on the Moji. There we go, Moji down. Okay, Strix is there. Then I think the Io is back there as well. Yep, that's the Io. Ah, uh, Moji. Fight with Obliterate. Can we finish up the I.O.? Oof. Okay, what, what, what was I in there? Oh, I was in Yagra's spray, I think. Okay. Oh, that, that's okay. Uh, we could go for the Kronos. Kronos, do we want to rejuve? I think we'll go for some Kronos. Yeah, let's go for Kronos, why not? But as you can see, you know, all the lifesteal we get allows us to stay in the fight for pretty long, which is great. Allows us to do a lot more damage, you know. And then, you know, those fights that are pretty close uh, because of the lifesteal and, you know, all the healing that we have, even without, you know, a, healing, a healer actually directly healing us, we're still able to take the fight, win it, heal up enough, and then, you know, move on to our next target. Which is why I like this ball so much. Five, four, three, okay. two, one. Let's see how we do. I do have my ult ready, so maybe we can go and execute the Io or the Furia. Get rid of the healers. Oh wait, actually, let's go see if we can deal with the Strix. That would be the most helpful, probably. Okay, that's the Io down. Double kill. Tricks down. Yagarath's up there. Okay, that's Dark Siphon on Yagarath. I think we hit up with Obliterate. Okay, Yagarath is down. Beautiful. Okay, we got. Did we get tricks? We got tricks there. Perfect. Io is gonna be down. Nice. We got the Furia. We got the Io. Rampage. Finish up the Yagarath. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Someone's coming around the corner. Strix. 
Okay, that's Trix is down. Trix was gonna die, even though he went invis there, I hit him with Dark Siphon and the damage is gonna be enough to finish him. Oh no, it's fine, let's just hit him. There, there we go. Okay. Must remember not to keep attacking uh, Moji when he pops his shield. Get the Furia. Okay, Furia is down. Come on, let's take out an IO. There's no healing for their tank. Okay, cool. That is Moji dead. Ah, no, okay. <laughs> Moji just got away with that. Fine, let's get some more kill to heal. That extra help will definitely help us. But as you can see, that we we did really great. Actually, I don't even need to go around the flank, but I can go straight through the mud. Yeah, I honestly can. Yeah. Let's go up here and go around though. Okay, we're gonna back out of that. That is more damage than I want to deal with. There's Yagarath. Let's deal with Yagarath. Okay, cool. Yagarath is down. Beautiful. Now we can go and mess up the IO. Oh, there's Trix. Okay. That's Trix down. Can we get Furia? Ah. Okay, that's fine. How are we doing? 22 eliminations, 4 deaths, 10 solo kills. Not bad. <laughs> Wait, what? Resilience, I mean, fine. I even, and a, okay, yo. That Nando went with full on utility there. Yeah. 15 seconds remaining. What are they doing? Like, seriously. Oh, no, what am I doing? Why? Did, okay. That's fine. That was really dumb of me, but you know, that's fine. I will not rest until everything okay. is destroyed. Push fail, but we're capping the point every time, so we're gonna win this. Even if we keep going back and forth like that. It's fine, we'll still win. You know, and in the end, victory is what's important, not how you achieve it. Though it would be nice if we can win this round, because then we can finish it off. Don't have to keep... Uh, don't have to win two more uh, caps for the point. Capture point spawning in 15 seconds. Pick up the pace. Five, okay. four, three, yeah, let's two, go. one. Okay, I have my ult again, so that means, you know, you can try execute one of the healers. Oh. What? <laughs> I ran into the emoji. I turned around. I couldn't see him. And then he altered on me and chowed me. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. We come back and I've been on get him. The brink of death before. I was not stopped any there. Got the Furia. Show them. No! No! Ah! <laughs> uh, I shouldn't have gone in. I, I know I shouldn't have, but I still went into it. I was hoping I could get the Furia, and then that uh, kill to heal would give me enough HP to keep fighting and go for the next guy. Fine. Let's just play this spot and hold off. Running in like a mad psychopath. Fine. Take out the Yagarath. With the Yager down, the rest are gonna be extremely vulnerable. There we go. Yager down. Can I get some healing going? Nope. I'm oh yeah, I hit him. Nice. Away with you. Beautiful. Ah, there's Strix. Kill the Strix, come on. Oh, let's be careful, yeah. Don't forget to say goodbye. That Io should die. There we go. Io is down. Okay, let's go around for Strix. I always forget to use my movement though with Bora, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Let's let's deal with Furia first if we can. Yes, heal me! No! 
Ah. Okay, um, Haven. Yeah, we need more Haven. How are we doing? Uh, 26 for 8. We had like 22 for 4, so we, we are we're not doing as great as we were, but you know, it's okay. Yeah, okay, that's Strix. We need to go take care of Strix first. Because Strix is the biggest bane of my existence right now. Come on, give me my spawn. There we go. There's no way we're allowing them to finish this though. They are not gonna. There we go. Where are you, Strix? Come on. I'm back here. Maybe I should go and put some Illuminate. Fine though. Okay, Strix is down. Alt, next execute Moji. <gasps> okay. Okay, is that everyone dead? Yeah, they look to got him though. Fine, let's go around the side. Fine. We'll end Strix. That's the Moji down. There we go. Um, where's? Oh, I was right there. I did not see her. Okay, that's Furia dead and successful defense. Now we do need to cap that point though. If we do not cap the point, we are gonna lose. Uh, we don't have enough for Haven. I would have enough after a spawn, but I think I'm gonna go for kill to heal because I need to stay alive and try to, you know, allow us to win this. But yeah, I really like Warrior. You know, she's a she's got she's a flank with a lot of built-in healing, which is great. Her movement is yeah, movement's pretty decent. I mean, I don't honestly use it that much, but you know, when I do remember to use it, it's pretty helpful. Now we should just do some ballet. Okay, yeah, let's get ready. Okay, we're gonna go around the left again and we're gonna try to go all the way around and get the Strix. Because if we get the Strix first, then that should make our life a lot easier. Ooh, okay, I missed. Damn it. <laughs> okay, the Mochi got us there. Ah, uh, we don't have enough points. Your assistance is unnecessary. Nagarath is tanky as heck though, holy crap. Show them no mercy. Oh my god, they're gonna cap, we're gonna lose. We may actually lose this. Come on! No! Ah, oh, we, yeah, we lost. Unless someone gets on that point right now and deals with them. Come on, anyone? Nah, that's game. But as you saw, so Vora is a pretty versatile flank. A lot of fun to play as well. And yeah, she can tangle with pretty much everyone. So let's see how we did though. I want to see my stats. Ah, we leveled up though. Great. Okay, so I had 25 kills, I had 11 deaths, and I had 9 assists. Uh, 11 streak, 44 objective time, I had 92,000 damage. So I did really great there. The only person with more damage than me on my team was the Victor. Ceres did 44k damage, but she had a good healing there, so well on her. Our Andrew did nothing. 30k damage as Andrew, okay. Fernando, he, he did fine there. And on the enemy team, okay, so they had 80k healing in total between their... Furia and their Io. Nagarath did a lot of damage actually. Wow. Uh, Moji did fine. Strix did fine. But yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, please do drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.